Radio Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got some stuff. I got a big heavy box. I got loads of deliveries this week, guys. I wanted to share them with you. So we've got some stuff from Heo.com. So thank you very much for Heo. We've got some comics and cocktails at the top there. And an Amazon at the bottom. So let's go ahead and check out what we've been sent this week. So first things first, guys. Let's grab this top box and see what's inside. Okay, comics and cocktails, number one. Ooh, they've wrapped, they've wrapped it all up in one big bundle. What we got? And I genuinely mean, when I say what I've got, I genuinely mean it because I just get, deli I get deliveries like every week. So I don't know which is going to be in what box. Ooh, I'm happy about this one. Right, I'm, good, I'm happy with this one. I'm excited for this one. First things first, guys, we've got some some figures all the way from Batu on Galaxy's Edge. As we check out Star Wars at the Black Series, we've got Captain Cardinal, first of all, um, one of the guards of the First Order, served as Armitage Hook's personal guard. He was among the uh, it was among the orphans that Brendel Hooks took in to create the First Order from. And basically, um, he's one of the captains that helps uh, look uh, keep order at the trading outpost at Galaxy's Edge uh, on the on the planet of Batu, which is based on the new Disney parks. Now these don't have a number in the Star Wars Black Series collect collection as these are technically all classed as exclusives. These are exclusives to Target I believe in the United States, which has got the contract with Disney to have like Disney stores in the, in the, in the stores themselves I believe. But here in the UK as we don't have Target, we have been getting these through our online retailers and I've been looking to get all mine so far through, um, or mainly through comics and cocktails and saying that they managed to hook us up with DJ Rex as well he used to be a pilot droid for Star Tours that's been reprogrammed and is, since he's been reprogrammed he now spins the records down um, at Ogre's Cantina you'll find him in there in the Disney parks uh, giving out uh, rebel transmissions as well as making some music for Black Spire Outpost uh, very excited as well to have this one I love the history of Rex obviously I'm a big I'm a, I'm a long time Disney fan <clears throat> I love going to the parks. I love the fact that Star Tours is canon, that Star Tours actually exists, and now the, obviously these droids have been, re well, this particular droid has been reprogrammed now as DJ Rex. So that's a cool little homage paying to the original Star Tours ride as well, and I love how this droid looks. You can actually get this as a Bluetooth speaker <coughs> in the Disney park, so you can play music through him. <coughs> and. Sorry, I'm drunk. <laughs> Sorry. And as I'm, I was meant to be going to the Disney parks this year. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. I need to get a drink. Uh, I was meant to be going to the Disney parks this year until COVID hit. And obviously, when I went out there, my plan was to pick up the big sets. They came in sets of four. Uh, DJ Rex was in one of them. Um, <coughs> and the others were in another. But we've had Captain Cardinal added to added to the collection since he wasn't in the original. <coughs> So I'm glad to finally have these in my collection. Obviously, I didn't I didn't have to go all the way to Florida finally to find them, so I'm happy about that. Right, moving on, guys. I did also manage to get my hands on the G.I. Joe exclusive for the Special Missions Pro Cobra Island Roadblock. Um, I got him because he looks so much different to the original Roadblock. Um, I'm liking the new design, the different paint app and stuff, so I definitely had to pick this secondary figure up. Um, I've only got one other G.I. Joe now on pre-order, I believe. Um, and then I'll I'll see what else comes out. But I'm not buying all of them, like I said. I'm just selecting the ones I want. Obviously, Roadblock's a really cool character. And I think he looks awesome in that attire as well. So, really wanted him. And I'm loving the back of this box, with it being a special box. It's got like the schematics for the mission. So that's really cool. And I like the fact that it says Special Missions Cobra Island there as well. To distinguish it from the original lineup. And it's not a numbered box. Oh yeah, it's a numbered box, number 11. Cool. Okay, so that was all the cool stuff from Comics and Cocktails. So thank you to Comics and Cocktails for sending those through so speedily for us. These next items were sent completely free of charge thanks to Heo.com and Beast Kingdom. So please give Heo a massive thank you in the comments below for me. They hooked us up with some amazing egg attacks. Now egg attacks are from Beast Kingdom. They are imports here in the UK, um, but I've been very lucky uh, to have been sent three of them for review purposes. 
So we will be reviewing these. We have the new Joker from the Batman animated series line. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one. I love Joker, as you know, so happy to have this in my collection. And there is a Harley as well, so I'm definitely looking to maybe grab the Harley uh, to go with him. Um, again, these are by Beast Kingdom. The logo is there in the bottom corner. So thank you, Beast Kingdom. I really appreciate it. I'm going to put these back in the bags as well. I want to keep these nice for the review. There we go. I want to keep those nice for the review. So there's the Joker. We also have Iron Man. This is the Infinity War Mark L Iron Man. Um, EA 70. 20, 24 points of articulation. Built in LEDs on the eyes and chest. Wow. Equipped metallic armor pieces. And exclusive stand and stuff. I remember, if you remember, I reviewed the Deadpool last year in this series. Uh, I got an egg attack Deadpool, and he was really cool. But this one, he lights up, so his eyes and chest light up. That's pretty sick. Oh, I wonder if the LEDs and the hands light up as well. Oh, can't wait to review that. Love me a good. That's the Infinity War one. That's pretty cool. Can't beat some MCU products. Not had an MCU product in a long time. And then finally, Batman to go with the Joker. Again from the animated series. Here is the Batman. He's got three replacement masks, uh, four replacement mouths, different replacement palm pieces, batarangs, grappling guns, and of course the figure stand. Oh, it's actually a fabric cloak as well. It includes tights, fabric cloak, variety of replacement eye masks. So it's all cloth. Oh, the bat, the bat suit was actually cloth on this one. That looks nice. Can't wait. And you will notice um, maybe in the next couple of weeks, there might be a few days where we don't have any videos going live on the channel. And that's because we are actually changing around this office. I'm actually rehauling how we how I have all my equipment and getting some better lighting and changing up everything for the new year. So <clears throat> you will notice a few days, um, I'm not sure when it's gonna be, but I will warn you guys when there might not be a few, there'll be a few days of quiet content uh, because we're gonna be completely changing this room. But I'm gonna make a video all about that. And uh, I'm tempted to make a video whilst we actually do the changes as well. So you guys can follow along. Uh, but for now, last box of the week guys. And this is from Amazon. Yeah, I'm going to make a separate video where we'll talk about all the changes I'm making to the room and what I'm going to be doing with my collection. Because you guys have always said you'd like to see my collection actually on display. And I agree with you. I'd love to actually have my collection displayed. So that's something I'm definitely looking at doing. And uh, with the changes to the room, we're going to be able to do it. So stay tuned for some good stuff. And obviously that means I'll be able to create a load of videos where we're basically setting up the room and stuff. And you guys can follow along and watch. Oh, he's a big boy. He is a big boy. Wow. So, got a hook up here from Amazon. And we've got the brand new Marvel's Kingpin. Look at the size of that card back. That is insane. Wow. They've changed it to look like the animated series version or the classic version with the purple trousers. I like that look. The orange waistcoat, the blue cravat, it just looks so nice. The cane is a different colour as well now. Oh, but look at the size of the card back on it. Wow! That is so cool. And we've still got we've still got the replacement Mysterio as well, which we've not seen yet. Um he's still to come as well. I wonder if there'll be any more exclusive in this line still to come. I wonder if we're going to get a new lizard or anything like that. Hmm, interesting. So I'm excited to see what else comes in this line, guys. But I will be reviewing this Wilson Fisk very soon. So stay tuned. All of these toys on this on the, on this shelf right now on here will be getting reviewed very soon. Because I am excited to have all of it. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as I said, I will keep you guys updated with what we're going to be doing to this room. Uh, we are going to be making some great changes in the future, because you guys have said as well, when I'm down here fiddling with something and I'm looking down, you can't see what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> and I've always found that a struggle. So my reviews going forward, I'll actually be stood up. And I'll be the camera will be across the room. <coughs> and I will have a little makeshift table in the middle of the room where I'm stood and you'll be able to see my hands, whatever I'm touching on the desk. So you'll be able to see me building things and, and then in post-production I can zoom in and edit uh, to make it nice. I'll be using two separate cameras uh, so it'll be, it'll be so much nicer. And then we'll be able to have... I'm having a sort of a setup around the room where I'll be able to leave my dioramas set up. My I won't be I won't have to physically move things to this desk to keep filming. So everything's going to be laid out for me as I need it in this room, and it's going to be more of a studio with better lighting. And obviously, I'll be able to bring back my white. I've got that white box uh, where I've got the spinny table in there, which I was going to use for all my Instagram photos, which I never got around to using because it was such a pain to plug it and unplug it and. I, did, I didn't have a spare plug in the room and I had I to crawl under the desk to plug it in. It was a hassle to use. So now, now when I do it, I'll, ha I'll, I'll actually have the setup there so it'll never have to be put away. So my content uh, for Instagram is going to be more professional, more professional photos, more, more, more actually figure photography. I'll be able to have more of these uh, like polystyrene di dioramas around the room. I've already got a few plans of what I want. I want one that's going to look like um, almost like a... Um, Star Wars Batu style setup. Um, I want that kind of a. I, I want to make my own outpost basically for my figure reviews. And yeah, I've got so much more planned. I want a rooftop scene. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna try and uh, get get some dioramas in. And yeah, I've got some good plans for this room. So stay tuned. I'll make some videos all about it. Especially when we start doing it, I'm gonna start vlogging and stuff, so you guys can follow all along with that progress. But guys, hope you're excited to see these figures get reviewed. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Supersoil. As you can see, there's plenty going on, and we're making changes, some great changes that you're not going to want to miss out on. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any future content. As well, guys, YouTube have stopped sending you um, emails. You've got to hit the notification bell down below to be a part of the notification squad and to find my videos when they come online. Otherwise, you will not be notified when I upload, which is a proper pain. So make sure you have hit the bell below if you do want to watch my videos on a daily basis don't forget to check back if you don't get notified that i've uploaded because i will have uploaded i upload each and every single day of the week you guys know that seven days a week videos go live at midnight in the uk so there'll be a fresh video for you every day when you wake up guys thank you very much for watching as always i'm your host super and i'll see you in the next video may the force be with you